Hi, Mary from Reviewer's Diary, and I'm here to go over my monthly favorites with you. Now, a lot of people are like, dump, yeah, if you don't put it out at the end of April, that rain, whatever, um, or the first week. Well, yeah, it's the beginning of the second week. Today, I am recording this on the 8th of May, so hopefully I will get it published tonight, but it's better late than never, right? Um, I am never going to get it out at the end of the month. Uh, because I think that you're missing the boat sometimes if you don't wait until the beginning of the next month to um, do your favorites because who knows what uh, what treasure you're gonna discover when you're going through your stuff so anyway I have quite a few things that I reach for routinely and one that I think will really make a difference in your life if your hair is thinning so Stay tuned to watch my April favorites. <laughs> Almost said May. <laughs> Stay tuned for the April favorites. Okay, so I have quite a few um, favorites here. I'm going to start first with my eyeglasses. <laughs> I got these fabulous glasses from the eye doctor. I had my yearly exam. Thank God I don't have anything serious because there are some serious diseases in my family, including macular degeneration, which can be hereditary, apparently. So I always worry about that. So anyway, I got these, I had the frames. I was really happy, it didn't cost me a fortune, but it was like $60 to get the lenses put in and my flexible spending account, my insurance will cover that. Except for one thing. I love these glasses because I can really see like especially the laptop it's like built so that it can be like a computer you know computer glasses so they help me with work they help me when I'm doing videos they help me when I'm grading on my laptop the only problem is I left them on the end table and I went to get the dogs food now there were a couple things on the end table including a bright red colored like drugstore glasses. Did the puppy go for the bright red? No. He must have seen something shiny and decided to chew these. So the frames themselves are okay and I did wear these all day with work today. <laughs> but he did chew the lenses. Let's see if I can... I don't know. How can I get it to show up on camera? Let's see. If I tilt them a certain way I'm not sure but I don't know if you can see but this whole area here has chew marks so it's just above my line of sight but it's right there and I can see it if you haven't gone for an eye exam please do go because if they do discover it's not just about whether you need glasses or not Everyone should have a yearly eye exam health-wise. You want to make sure that you're not developing any kind of disease process in your eye. So, you know, please make sure that, you know, you go for an eye exam, especially those of you who are covered by insurance. It doesn't make any sense not to go. Okay, so I have quite a few things in here. I'm going to hold off on the hair saving item till last. <laughs> So if you want to fast forward through this other stuff, that's fine. So I'm going to start first with this Aven oil. It's body oil. Now this is in my uh, 100 colorful empties. You can see that it is almost empty. This is not cruelty free. I love this stuff. I love oil added to my moisturizer because my moisturizer ends up working so much better and my skin feels so much better. So. I usually put like lotion and, and then I'll dribble a little bit of this into my hand. I mix it with the lotion and presto, you will never be dry again. So I have become a real fan of body oils. The only problem is Aven is not cruelty free. So I did bring a, a cruelty free alternative here so that I could show you and I find I like this um, cruelty free item just as much as I like this. And that is this Balance Me Guru, um, Balanced Guru, and it's um, Soothe Me Body Oil. Now, this is a big whipping bottle. I've used it a few times. 
The only thing is it gets a little bit messy sometimes or along the top, but you do the same thing. You just put a pump or less into a lotion that you're using, or you know what, you can put it in your hand and you can just like rub your hands together, rub it on your body, and then put a moisturizer on. I prefer to mix it with a moisturizer. Um, so yeah, it's like, I, I love this. I've become like such a total fan of body oils. Now I have, been, have not been using this through the month of April, so I just wanted to make sure that you knew that this was the cruelty-free alternative. I've been using this one up in the month of April. So if you want to remain cruelty-free, and actually this is really great oil, I would say that, yeah, I know a lot of you have told me already that you really like the Aven oil, but I think it's more expensive than this Balanced Guru is. And this is a gigantic bottle, like, let's see, it's four ounces. So this is going to take forever to be gone. Um, and I know they all come like three or four ounces, but I have to think that this is probably cheaper than this will be. I'll let you know for sure. I'll find links down below. Like I'll see if I can find links for everything and put them down below so you can look at things and compare prices. Whether you decide to remain cruelty free or not is completely up to you. No one has the right to judge another person. That having been said, let's move on. I do have this other thing that's cruelty free and I love it. Um, when I get up in the morning, I have put on my Retin-A the night before and I get up in the morning, well, I haven't been really good about putting the Retin-A on, but I, since I got a couple pimples in weird places like under my eyebrow, ah, um, I started using my Retin-A again and um, of course it has that side benefit of making you look a little bit younger, which is good when you're like my age but anyway you get up and you have to get out the door really fast um, like I do with the puppy or you know maybe you have something like you have to get outside really quick before you put all your makeup and all that other stuff on I have this puppy and I noticed that the couple mornings that I went out without thinking about any sunscreen I came back with spots, so I have more freckles now than I had before, but some of them are really dark and I don't know if they're going to go away or not. So I started thinking about what am I going to put on my face that takes three seconds before I go out the door. And you will not believe it, but it is this Super Goop setting spray. You know, it's got SPF 50 and I can't think of it just as setting spray because this actually, and I, I've actually put it on before putting on makeup and I spray this on before I go out with the puppy and I'll go like all morning with this on my face uh, until I shower or wash my face and put other stuff on. This is a lifesaver. I love this stuff. I wish I had another bottle of it because this is gonna... This expires at the end of 2017. So clearly I'm gonna have to break down and buy another bottle at some point, but I love this stuff. This is one of my absolute favorite things. So, like I said, I'll put links down below, but this is... This is just fabulous, and it's Super Goop Setting Mist with Rosemary. It says Defense Refresh Setting Mist with Rosemary, SPF 50. Like, you cannot get better than that. Next thing I have is something, I'm not sure if this is cruelty free or not. Um, I have, some people have said this brand is cruelty free, but I don't know about this caviar business. Um, I don't know why that bothers me so much because I'm not a vegetarian or a vegan, but I am bothered by the caviar business. Anyway, I do love this stuff, so if I find out that it's cruelty free, I might consider it, but I probably won't because of the caviar. Okay, so it is the Alterna Caviar Clinical Daily Densifying Foam. Now this is basically um, a really nice um, like mousse. It's very moussey, nice texture. It gives your body, uh, gives your hair a lot of body and 
I really do like it. It's very low. I think just by judging from shaking and I think I'm down to like here and I'm kind of heartbroken about that because I'm pretty sure I'm not going to be buying this again. But like again, if you guys know for sure if Altern is cruelty free or not and what your opinion about the caviar business is because they have to cut the fish open to get the caviar out. But are, are, is anybody eating the fish? Like is it just a wasted life? I don't know. I just don't know. But anyway, <laughs> this is one of my favorite things and I really do love it, but I won't buy it until I know for sure whether it's cruelty free or not. Um, so when this is gone, it's going to be sayonara. Okay, so next thing is definitely cruelty free. I don't think I've ever featured it in a favorites video, but it is a chubby stick from Ulta. It is, it's my sugar and spice, my absolute favorite. It's just like this lovely brick red color and it suits my coloring really well. It's just like, you know, the writing's worn off. It's just the most beautiful lip um, item that I think I've ever owned. I have, I did manage to buy another one at Ulta because they very briefly, I'm not sure if the color is still back or not, but it was, it was not available for a long time. I think it was because it was part of a holiday set and then they brought it back because clearly a lot of people really liked it. And so they brought it back and I bought the lipstick, which is slightly different color. I bought another chubby stick, which is a slightly different color. They're labeled as sugar and spice, but they're not exactly the same. So I'm disappointed in that. This is one of my favorite things and I hate to live without it. So I guess I'll just adjust when this runs out, <sighs> but I'll be digging down in there again. Cause I don't know if you guys know, but when a lipstick or a chubby stick, when it levels off, there's a whole lot more product down in there, like like a good like quarter in to a half inch. So if you have something you really love, you don't have to abandon it when it becomes like, um, because there'll be more product in there. Okay, I have four more things. And the other one of the other makeup items is this cargo Oh, I have to put on the glasses that are destroyed by the by the puppy. Oh, just to read this, la di da da. I have to get these to the doctor. Yes, this is Cable Beach, and it says Beach Blush. So, the reason I really like this is it has these stripes in it. I just take my entire, like I take an entire bronzing brush and I just sweep right through there and I can pick up like just, it's like slightly bronzy blush. So what I like about this is this actually can serve as your bronzer and your blush all at once because you've got golden colors, you've got brown color, you've got the bright pink color. When you sweep the brush through there, it picks up just enough so that uh, it's one of my absolute favorite things. I, I really love this thing. <laughs> Next thing, and it's almost gone, is this lamp, Lip Quench by Derm Store. This came in a Beauty Fix box, and I was like, yeah, whatever. Like, I, you know, I was like, yeah, who cares? But <laughs> I really enjoy this. I put this on morning and night. It has a very slight pink tint to it. So it also looks good during the day as almost like a lip gloss. So I really like this. This is like really, really super moisturizing and really nice. And I don't know if I would buy it again, not until I can see if the Derm Store product line is cruelty free or not, but I would consider it. And I'd certainly be happy to get it in, in another Beauty Fix box. Okay, next thing is this Aloe Pure Time Repair Serum. 
I love serums. I love all kinds of serums. This one's not my favorite serum, but this is one I've been reaching for through the entire month of April. This is, um, this one I use more during the day and sometimes at night. It has a thicker consistency to it. Like it's not quite as thin as a lot of the serums that I have, but it definitely is, it almost feels like face cream on. It's almost like has like a, like Elmer's glue feel to it. Let's see, let me shake it up a little bit. That doesn't sound very um, good, does it, Elmer's glue? But look at that, it's not even really moving. So you can see just how thick it is, like how, um, that's not something that's gonna move off of my hand until I go to use it. And it's just like, has, um, it's very moisturizing. So it's really nice after my Retin-A and it's nice in the morning. I wore it this morning, I put it on and my skin just feels good, like just comfortable. And if you have sensitive skin and you you know what I mean when you say when I say my skin just feels comfortable because sometimes when your skin is really sensitive you just don't have that. Okay, and finally the last one and perhaps the one that you've been waiting for is the one that has saved my hair and has made my mom's hair look way thicker. Now, of course there's minoxidil and there's the women's um hair stuff from I forget what brand but I'll I'll put a notation here. I have that. I've had that and I've used it. I'm not currently using it um, because I'm not sure since I'm hypothyroid it says something on there. I have to talk to my doctor. Um, if you're hypothyroid not to use it or if your feet tend to swell and with my hypothyroid and sitting all day sometimes my feet swell so I'm not really using the other stuff. This is like the thing that has saved my hair. Um, when I saw mom six months ago her hair was kind of thin on the top and I found this stuff while I was down in Florida because I was desperate to find things that were going to be conditioning enough to save me from like the hair disaster that I was, I don't know if you recall my last trip, I just used mom's shampoo and conditioner and I thought my hair was just gonna all break off. The water is different down there and so I was like desperate to find things that were gonna condition my hair. So I picked this up and I just thought, you know what, this is like, the, this is like unbelievable. Because mom, I also got mom one and she's been using it since I saw her and the top of her hair has all filled out and it's just because of this because she doesn't use any kind of like topical that you know the dropper thing and the scary medicine type thing she just washes and, and uses this in her hair and I used it today you can see it doesn't weigh my hair down if you have oily hair it might not work for you but Without further ado, this is the product that is like a gift from God. And it is from Shea Moisture. And it's an anti-breaking formula. This stuff, um, strengthen, grow, and restore leave-in. Uh, what I do, it's very loose. Like when you open this up, you can see that it's not real thick. It's pretty loose. I just stick my finger in there and I put a little bit in the palm of my hand. I rub my hands together and then I work it through and I rub again and work it through so that my roots all get this um, stuff. And this honestly has saved my hair. Like, no holds barred. This has saved my hair. Um, it's definitely like starting to thicken on the top, I think. So this is great stuff. This is absolutely great. Okay, and there's another favorite that I had for April and that is a book. Y'all know I'm a writer, I'm a nurse, I'm a professor, I'm a writer. 
and I uh, do. I'm like the like picture of a woman. Me should have she who does too much underneath. Yes, I do too much. But anyway, um, I do write, and so um, I really enjoyed this book, Letters to a Young Writer. This is really good. I'm going to do a full review of this um, in a separate video, but this was a an excellent, excellent book for anybody out there who wants to write. Young doesn't mean like five years old, 12 years old, 15 years old. It just means somebody who's not yet done like you could be 75 and still be a young writer. So I'll go over this book in a separate review. And I'll also put a list of the of the products um, down below. None of these are repeats from any previous months. If you want to see what was a favorite in um, January, February, March, you can look down below. I'll also be pasting April at the top. So these will be listed and if I can find links for them, I will provide links as well. So anyway, thank you very much for watching. Please give this a thumbs up if you like this video. Um, and also please subscribe. So thank you and have a beautiful evening. Good night.